Okay, so it is a little while later. We actually wound up going back to our hotel, kind of rested, relaxed, freshened up a little bit. But we are entering Epcot now. We are just about, I wanna say maybe, it's about 30 minutes away from our dining reservation at Space 220. Very excited about that. So, yeah. There's Spaceship Earth. I'm hoping we'll be here late enough that we can see the we'll stay projection. Or not, well, it's not projection, but. The yeah. light show. Yeah, <laughs> the light show. We've seen it every night from our hotel room since we've been here. Hopefully, tonight we'll be able to see it up close and in person. We stopped vlogging for two hours and all of a sudden words started yeah. flowing again. <laughs> And it looks to me to name the right thing, the proper name. I always want to like start my sentence and then just throw it to you, yeah. finish it. I don't know what I'm talking about really, but. <laughs> oh, look, we got Goofy and Pluto over here. Oh, little man's excited. He sees Pluto. All right, say hi, wave, wave to Pluto. Hi, Pluto. <laughs> uh, oh, he loves you. Isn't that great? Yeah. Okay, wave bye bye. <laughs> and there's Goofy. It's so funny, I really do. I think that Caleb's favorite characters are Goofy and Pluto, so this is perfect. Good show them. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, we are turning a new leaf because this is now our second reservation today where we're early. Yay! So Space 220 is right there, but right. we've got a good, what? 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 so. minutes, okay. So I think we're gonna hit up the creation shop. Yeah, brand new shop that they popped up over here. And here it is, the creation shop, uh, replacing the old mouse gear. We've never been in here yet, so let's go check it out. And scratch that. Maybe not. <laughs> There's a big line to get in, so I don't think we have that much time. And here we are just outside Mission Space. This is where we are going to find the Space 220 restaurant. And I think we're gonna go see if we can check in now, because we've only got about like hmm, 10 minutes. We told Caleb, hey, this is going to be the best dinner ever because we're going to be shot up into space. He's very excited about this. So it is very, very busy here. So they told us, even though our reservation is in seven minutes, they told us to wait out here and to go to the desk exactly at our reservation time, which is 4.10. So yeah, they're, they're saying it's very busy here. Okay, 4.10 exactly. On the dock. <laughs> so we get to go in. We're clear for departure, I guess what they would say. So for those of you traveling with little ones like us, we have a stroller. We're gonna go ahead, before we go into the departure lounge, we're actually gonna park our stroller here. I was just checking out the stroller parking sign and it looks like we have a little friend hanging out. Oh, <laughs> Caleb's fascinated. All right, they're ready for us to go to space. All right, time to go to space. All right, here we go. Hello. Hello. Looks like we have the entire departure, what do yeah. they call this? The departure lounge? Departure. All to ourselves. <laughs> and I found that one perfect spot that you have in several stores. The air conditioning oh. is just coming down right ah. here perfectly. So we had to wait outside in the glaring sun for a bit. I was a little bit warm, so right. this is the spot to stand. Can you feel it? We've discovered actually there is not one, but two of these things. So yes, yeah, stand under that. And I will be boarding pass to our astronaut in training here. Oh, say thank you. Thank you. That's going to be your ticket up to Centauri Space Station. Great. All right. Here we go. Happy travel. Welcome aboard. Thank you. We're all the way around. All right, buddy. I'm going to look down here. Welcome aboard this elevator. In just a few moments, you'll be on your way up to Space 220 aboard the Centauri Space Station. Enjoy the ride. Open the pop bay doors now. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. SV2, you are clear. Here we go. If 
you look above, you'll see Centauri Space Station coming into view. Once we dock, gather our belongings and exit through yeah. the open airlock. A Space 220 agent will be waiting for you. Save the both of us. Whoa, look how high up we are, bud. Okay, this way. And there's no need to worry about gravity because we have artificial gravity here at Centauri 220. Oh, wow. You can follow me right this way. Then you're just going to continue right down here past our row zone and the next one's we'll see you guys. Right, thank you. Here we go, we're in space. Look at this. Oh, and here's that vegetation wheel we've seen all over the place. Someone was asking if it's real. No, it's not. It's fake. It's cool looking. <laughs> so cool, huh, bud? Oh, wow. Okay, it smells good in here. Oh, perfect. All right, buddy. Whoa, look and at look, this, man. Another present for you. Oh. That's for after you eat, okay? <laughs> Thank you. It's in there. I don't know. I think it's special little rocks. It's pretty that's cool, us, huh? To take home. We get to take that home. Okay, so you ordered this. What? What is this? I don't know. I ordered it in like a yeah. fevered moment. So, hold on. <laughs> All right, he got Moon Rocks, which is a zero-proof cocktail with coconut, blue cotton candy syrup, lemonade, moon dust, and moon rocks. Okay, sugar, sugar, sugar. Yes, it's a four o'clock dinner though, so I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be yes. okay. <laughs> what does it taste like? Yeah, lemonade. It tastes like lemonade? And a cherry punch for you, my friend. Thank you. Would you cool. like to video yours? Yes, that'd be great. Let me not put it on his menu. There we go. Ready? Yes. All right. Oh. There you are. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Yeah. Thank you. This right. is my cocktail. Let's get yours. All right. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay. Let me just, can I just say something real quick? All right, is everyone oh. ready to order? All right, so this is Mike's cocktail. It's slowly bubbling. You get a little yeah. bit of it coming out the top. So this is the Planetary Punch. It's Bacardi Silver, it's Malibu, Blue Curacao, Guava, and screaming? Coconut. Is there a baby? Yes, there is a baby screaming. So, but I think it's got a little bit of dry ice down there somewhere. It's creating all the bubbles, so. Oh, wow, that's, um. Sugary? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very sugary. Um, also, we talked uh, we talked a little bit about Caleb's drink. Yeah. He said it tastes like lemonade. It tastes nothing like lemonade. <laughs> it's straight up sugar. Like this is like hummingbird juice. I mean, <laughs> I'm a little. I, I wish he hadn't gotten this, but oh well. Um, but my drink tastes similar. All right. <laughs> now we did talk about in our home vlog. What should we do from a drink standpoint in this place? So these are their signature cocktails. Right. So we said we were gonna start with their signature. That's what we typically try to do is, yeah. is do a signature. And then we'll test their skills with our classic cocktails that we like. Right. All right. But that's if we can, because this has been going so fast. Like, I don't yes. know how you feel about this. Well, first off, Mike's QR menu wasn't working. Oh yeah, so. I, the, um, my, I had like zero phone reception in here, so I had to jump We're on We're in space, the what do you expect? Disney. You gotta be on Wi-Fi. Go. <laughs> yeah, I had to jump on the Disney internet to get it to finally work. But yeah, it's just, it's a little, yeah. know what you want right right away. So when he said that he wouldn't, he wished Caleb wouldn't have that cocktail or a mocktail, it's because I had to order it very quickly without any right. kind of collaboration. She was and like, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want, what do you want? We got a lot of requests from you guys asking what does the kids menu look like, so I will get to that, but let's look at Steve's cocktail first. So what I got was the Atmos Spritz. It's gonna be their take on the Aperol Spritz. So you may have seen these other vlogs, and I'll just, we already showed it to you, but it starts with cotton candy and then they pour the cocktail over on top of it. But it comes with vodka, Aperol, blood orange syrup, orange juice, Prosecco, and cotton candy, a little bit of everything. So I think this is gonna be... <laughs> They're not shy of sugar here. No. There's no scarcity of sugar in the space here. <laughs> Okay. 
tastes like um, orange crush. Like oh. the soda, yeah. I don't get any vodka or anything like that. So yeah, vodka, Aperol, those two are the liquors that you don't taste at all. And you know how I am with cocktails. That's the most expensive ingredient. You should probably... Yeah, should spirit forward is yes. what you like. Yeah. Oh, and there's also Prosecco. Still didn't get that either, so... All right. Interesting. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Caleb was talking about how there's a baby screaming in the background. I guess you can hear screaming in space, right? <laughs> When it comes to the kids' dinner, it looks like it is $29 per person, and the child needs to be nine years old or under. Um, but the options are basically spaghetti, there's a salmon, they call it cosmic chicken, it is fried chicken tenders. There is a grilled New York strip steak with space fries, so that's basically the space version of steak frites. That's pretty good. I don't think Caleb's gonna eat steak, so. And then, of course, there is a mission macaroni, which is corkscrew-shaped pasta, cheddar cheese sauce, and breadcrumbs. And with the kids' prefix, they pick one of those entrees, they get one of these drinks that Caleb has, and then they get to pick a dessert as well. The dessert is a cosmic cupcake, a gelato scoop, and sorbet. So with all those options, Mike is really, really trying to ruin this white polo. So <laughs> I, I warned him against it, but he decided, no, we're gonna do the space spaghetti. So it'll be a red tomato sauce, which right. inevitably will be all over her shirt. I know. With a large chicken meatball. Be, she said it was large, so we'll yes. see. Steve warned me, and I, I was like, I'm still gonna make this decision because I think spaghetti is gonna be the one thing on the menu that he will definitely want to gravitate towards. Oh. <laughs> We're punny tonight, aren't we? <laughs> I will have to say the ambiance of this restaurant is pretty cool. The windows look great. Um, it's not super, super loud in here. It's definitely quieter than it was at Steakhouse 71 this morning. Um, you know, we they did originally have us at a booth, so we would probably had like an amazing view, but Caleb doesn't do too great with uh, a booster A booster seat. Yeah. Great, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Yum! Yum! <laughs> Caleb, you can see Caleb's little hand. As you can see, I got the starry calamari. This is fried calamari, Italian cherry peppers, spicy marinara, roasted pepper, citrus aioli. Now I did check these two dips because Caleb didn't want to wait. So this one is a little spicy. This one, not so much. So little man's liking this one a lot. All right, and this is my tuna tartare. I forgot their version of what they're trying to call it, but looks pretty good. I love a layered tartare like this. So excited about that. So mine is very light and refreshing. It's a tuna tartare, but it also has like that citrus flavor note to it. So it comes across as a little bit of ceviche like, so it's very tasty. Mike, I don't think you want any of this, right? Probably not. Yeah. And Caleb's trying the calamari, so let's see. Oh, already dropped it. Oh, where's your napkin go? Oh, you're sitting on it. Oh, here's another one. It's okay, we have plenty extra, Caleb. So what do you think about the calamari? Oh gosh. Okay, oh, Caleb, buddy, be careful, please. He's super, super clingy today, so here we are. Um, all right. Uh, this is probably the worst calamari oh my. I've ever had. Oh my. It's awful. Is it chewy? It's extremely chewy. It's like putting a rubber band in your mouth oh and just, oh my gosh. And like, the breading is very eggy, so it's not a good flavor mixed with that terrible texture. I don't even know if I can, uh, oh. I'm, I'm just not oh. wanting to begin anymore, so. Well, Caleb, mine's good. Caleb's liking it, but yeah. I tried, I took two bites and. All right, I, I have to give it, I have to try a piece. So. Yeah. I need to put some of that lemon on it to really kind of make it okay. something you can actually enjoy, right? Are you just giving up on it all together? No, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take a couple more bites, but yeah. Okay. So I have to admit, again, Mike already pointed out the view. It's great. And you have a lot of interactive things happening out there. Nothing at this particular moment. But one thing I really love is that apparently Earth has several exit signs hovering over it. That one there, 
one there. So that's kind of cool, huh? You know exactly how to get out. I'm pretty sure that's the reflection. Oh, is that what we're... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, did the lemon juice enhance it? Not enough? It enhanced the flavor, the, the, the texture is just... It's not right. Awful. Yeah. Awful. Awful. Well, mine was good. I didn't taste it. I'm sure it was. You seem to really like it. Well, you don't like tuna tartare, so... Right. So, I do. It was good. It's a little small, but again, I actually didn't want to be coming out of here with too much food. Right. So it actually is a good size to pair for me. So, um, you're not going to order another cocktail like that, right? No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and it's just, it's just, um, it's just too sweet. It's, it's just, just not our, sweet. it's not, does it go to our palate? Right. So those that actually like sweet cocktails, this is a great place for you. Plus you have like the interactive like table side entertainment with them, right. right? Yeah, for sure. Because you're a good boy, that's why. <laughs> and I ate all my dinner first. Okay. Good job, that's and a good idea. Yeah, then you and get I dessert. You sure do. <laughs> See, I'm Yeah. I'm oh, thank you. You're gonna eat all your dinner and you get a yummy dessert, okay? Is that yummy spaghetti, bud? Yeah, you're doing so good, bud. I try it in the store. Okay, let's see. No, <laughs> it's not hot. It's not hot. This is just, we got an extra plate and put his portion there. This is actually his spaghetti, the space spaghetti. As you can see, it's got a giant meatball there. So, yeah, pretty nice portion. I like it. Entrees just showed up, so I went with the slow rotation short rib. This is braised short rib, cheddar grits, bacon with hair couvert. It looks really great. This is a very nice presentation. I hope it tastes good. Here's mine. I got the X2 duck. It's duck two ways. So honestly, I didn't read what the two way is, but it looks like it's confit over here. And that looks like duck breast. I love duck breast. Okay, as you can see, this is very fork tender. We got a tired boy over here. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have a nap today. All right. I thought for sure he was going to fall asleep in the car, but he did. So what do you think about your meal? Go ahead. The short rib had saved the night. All right, So good. calamari was a no-go, but this braised short rib is very, very good. It's fork tender. It's got a lot of really good flavor. I like the little au jus sauce. It's probably not au jus, like a, you know, some kind of reduction. Right. And the cheddar grits, it looks like mashed potatoes, but it's actually cheddar grits. Really, really good there, I like that. Um, the green beans are green beans, but the carrots are really nicely cooked, very buttery, very savory. I'm very happy with my entree. And how is your duck confit? Is that what it is? Yeah, so let me actually read what I have here because I can't keep okay. it all together. So this is called the X2 duck, and it's roasted and confit crescent duck, butternut squash flan, Brussels sprouts with the orange glaze. Okay. Let me tell you, this is probably one of the best ducks I've ever had. So wow. I know, like, okay. and, and frankly, all the vlogs we've seen, I don't think I've seen anybody order the duck. I didn't, when you said you were ordering that, I was like, oh, I didn't even know they had yeah. that. But the fact that you have it two ways, confit and a regular chicken, or sorry, regular duck breast here, phenomenal. The orange glaze is a home run every single time you combine it with a duck. Mm -hmm. The Brussels sprouts are crisp, flavorful, and this butternut squash flan, like at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like that, but it, uh, it's actually pretty good. So all the flavors on this work very well together. So I recommend the duck. All right, so if you, you heard it here first. Yeah. Well, maybe not you. Maybe, maybe, maybe you did. Yes, yes, I'm yes. sure there's a bigger the vlogger first. out there. Who's yeah, first in the universe <laughs> to say that this is the best one. <laughs> Okay, so for my next cocktail, as we promised, we were gonna do a classic traditional cocktail review. So I ordered an old fashioned. So I can already tell you this is not my traditional old fashioned because it looks like they muddled the orange and cherry in there. That is a very, I mean, let's be honest, it's a very classic traditional way to do it. Um, but they've evolved a bit more to uh, be a little bit more flavorful. So here we go, Let's see if all the flavors balance out. And keeping up with Steve's order of an old fashioned, I went with another classic cocktail. This is a Hendrix Martini. I didn't specify as to whether I wanted it um, extra dry, which is how I usually do. So let's just see how they did. All right, let's try out this Hendrix Martini. Hmm, okay. Mm, I'm guessing a lot of vermouth. A lot of vermouth. Well, you have to specify. Dry. I know. 
but I want to you. see you know, how they did. It's not, it's not terrible. It's good. It's better than the last train. And for me, my old fashioned, actually, regardless of it being prepared in the traditional old way of muddling and everything, it actually was pretty balanced and I actually enjoy it. Apparently, you had to be more specific. I guess, yeah. Were you drink. specific when you ordered your drink? No, I just ordered old fashioned. Oh, so, okay. yeah. so I have to say that the portion size of this was enormous. So you had two of these um, duck breasts plus the confit duck leg, plus all the sides on top of that as well. I have to tap out with this, knowing that we also have a course of dessert after this. Okay, how about you? I'm stuffed. Yeah? <laughs> yes, I ate most of it. It was, it was really, really good. I like that. What do you think about serving size? Was it pretty good or too much, too little? I think it was just right. Yeah. Um, I forget how much was this again. Huh? I forget how much how much was this. Isn't it like seventy nine dollars per person? I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah. So we started with the calamari, which was like a big mess. But this is pretty good, and then we still have dessert on the way. Yeah. So, yeah. For some reason, Mike said, "Yeah, let's keep the calamari. We're gonna keep on picking at it." So it's still hanging out right over here. Yeah. Hasn't been touched. I don't once. want to know that I hated it. See, that, that's one thing. Mike will tell you all honestly and me honestly what he, what his opinion is. You will never tell the restaurant. Oh, because yeah. She comes by and like, it's delicious. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Fear that he's going to have his I'm, food spit in or something like that. I'm part so. of the problem. Yes. You are part of the problem. So I know some of you guys asked how the lounge actually works out. So it looks like it's a first come, first serve. But they actually have their own separate menu. So some of the items that they have over there are like the Astro deviled eggs, um, chicken on waffle, Mike. Oh wow! Short rib sliders. Oh, the, so that's what we saw go by. Yeah, and a New England lobster roll. So what? Yeah, I'm kind of bummed out when you have that as an option because those sound pretty good. Right. I would have had those as an appetizer over what we had. Right? Over the calamari. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. But apparently, again, first come, first serve. You get to sit at the bar. So okay, not a bad thing to wait for. Apparently. Right. This guy. There you go, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Did you get dessert, Caleb? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Y'all enjoy it. Thank you. So as you saw, it is time for dessert. This is the sticky toffee pudding cake, dark chocolate sauce, caramel crunchy pearls, and salted toffee drizzle. It smells so good. Looks awesome. I'm excited to dive into this. And Steve is getting stills for our Instagram, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about his dessert with you. This is the lemon mousse, lemon mousse sphere, adorned with white chocolate rings, lemon custard, marinated blueberries, and lemon curd. It looks so cool, and I love this white little, uh, this white chocolate piece that, uh, I don't know my space terminology too much, but it looks like space, right? Look like a ring around a planet? Yeah, it's like that thing you see like Saturn has. Yes, Caleb. Although Caleb wants to tear it apart. Mine smells so delicious. I just kind of stuck my nose into it to smell these bananas here. It almost has that quality of like when you smell something and it makes you think of Christmas. It's kind of like that. Oh, I'm so excited. For mine, it's exactly what you expect with something called the lemon mousse. Very light, very refreshing, citrus forward. Uh, it's very, very refreshing for um, almost like a palate cleanser after a meal. So I'm enjoying this. This is delicious, and I had to double check because it does have, um, it's got the dark chocolate sauce and the caramel crunch pearls, but it's that salted toffee drizzle they put on top. Oh my gosh, that takes this like, it's a home run. So right. good. And those bananas, delicious. Can I try some? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you didn't know, Steve is a big caramel fan. Salted caramel on top of Oh, that. salted caramel. Yes, even more so. Delicious, right? <laughs> it's it's very good. It is so good. So I am happy I still got this, even though that is a home run dessert. Yeah. If I knew it tastes like that, I would have planned all the other courses <laughs> in accordance to know that I wanted this to be like my swan song for the meal, right? Right. So, but I had a lot to eat already. I could not finish that. It's very rich and decadent. For sure. Hey, bud. Time to get back in the elevator. You ready to go back down to Earth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had too much fun, oh my. <laughs> too much fun and way too much sugar. <laughs> All right, and that was our dinner here at Space 220. Thank you. Wow. All right, get to see it one more time before we leave. Ooh, if you stand here too long, you get a little dizzy. Space Station going down the Earth's atmosphere.
atmosphere. We're going at a controlled speed. This is the cylinder that we're about to go through right now. That's what's controlling our speed on the way down. But once we enter Earth's atmosphere, that's when gravity she's going to kick right in and take control. We're about to go through the atmosphere, so hold on tight. We're back on Earth. We are, we are. And <laughs> test track is right here, so we're trying to do this very quickly in between that. But right. One thing that we wanted to make sure we pointed out is that you actually do feel something when you're going up the... Yes. What's it called? The elevator. I don't know what... It's like, you know, when they blast you off into space, yes. I feel like nobody ever told us, like, does it actually move? Does do you feel anything? You feel it something. Does. Yeah, there's like vibrations. You definitely feel like there's some movement, and they time it when you're going up through certain points within the lift. So, yeah, yeah that's kind of a cool idea. Uh, the food, Mike's appetizer didn't start out well, but overall, my overall dining experience was pretty good food. Yeah. So it's not gonna get, you know, knock your socks off, but the experience plus the food, definitely a good thing for us. Their cocktails were a little bit off. Right. But everything else I think was pretty good. Um, I'm not sure it's enough to keep a kid entertained the whole time. So I think the windows get a for little sure. bit old after a bit yeah. for a child. Yeah, I thought we had a really fun time. I thought it was really good. Like I said, very rocky start with that calamari, but my entree made up for it. My dessert was fantastic. Steve already talked about the cocktails. I do want to say this as a parent. So I follow a bunch of like Disney groups on Facebook and stuff, and someone made a comment where they were like, I have a family of five. My kids want to come here. It's a prefix menu. It's going to cost me like over $500 to go to lunch here or dinner, what have yeah. you. Oh yeah, that's, I never really thought of it like that, but yeah, I would say that's way too much for this experience. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was fine for what it was. Like I said, as you saw, we ordered off menu with our cocktails and that kind of helped a little bit. But, um, the other thing as a parent is that the kids menu, it's like sugar, 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 yeah. and then a little bit more sugar. So yeah. We're happy we did it. We're not going to be rushing to come back and do it right. again. That's our answer. Yeah. Okay, sure. All right. Let's go see what else we can do. Yeah. Let's let this kid walk around and yeah. burn off some of the sugar. Yeah, I told him, I was like, you're going to, we're not going to get in the stroller. You're going to walk around World yes. Showcase. You're going to burn off some of the sugar. Oh, absolutely. And we did walk through Epcot. And I have to admit, I did not expect our Space 220 video to be nearly half an hour. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Our videos don't do very well when they're super long. So, so we're going to speed this up. But we did have a really great time at Epcot. We wound up hitting up Frozen Ever After. We walked through the World Showcase and we got to experience Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Wow, this is such a great ride. We were very fortunate to get to ride this uh, a few years ago back in Disneyland Paris. And I'm so glad to have it here in the France Pavilion. It is definitely something you don't want to miss. And it's not just the ride. The queue is incredible. The courtyard they've created and added to the France Pavilion is, you, just, you have to see it. And if that isn't enough, on our way out, we got to see this. Wow, and look at that. On our way out, we get to see Spaceship Earth all lit up for the 50th. That's so cool. Oh, there's one out. <laughs> oh, there is. It's hard to spot. Oh, right. but... oh no, 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 no. Okay. Just took some time. <laughs> and look, the light up monorail is going by. What a shot. It kind of looks like a Tron coaster. It does. It is beautiful, folks. I know there were a lot of doubters, but this turned out pretty good. Ourselves included, probably, I yeah, think. Yeah. But yeah, it looks really impressive in person. And plus, I mean, like like we said, from our hotel room, you also see it as well. So yeah. now it's like a it's a beacon for Disney. You can see across multiple different areas. So. Right. I to stop so Steve can get a picture. Man, look at this. So cool. 